Exactly nine years ago, His Royal Majesty Oba Desheson Afalonrosho Oguntayo, the Ajalon of the Jebu Yife in Ogun State of Nigeria, celebrated the 11th year anniversary of his reign and his 70 years sojourn on earth. The twin events were celebrated with pomp and pageantry, with prayers for God to grant the Ajalon the special grace to celebrate the anniversary of his 20th year on the throne in good health and sound mind. As the undisputed flagship in the coverage of top flight events in the country, the BC Olatilo Show BOS, was fully on ground to give the grand event its inimitable touch and the program was beamed to Nigerians at home and in the diaspora. Nine years down the line, here we are again, gathered in Ijebu Ife, in the Ijebu East local government area of Ogun State, a town that has a historic link with Ile Ife, the source of Yoruba civilization, to celebrate the 20th year anniversary on the throne of the Ajalon of Ijebu Ife, His Royal Majesty Oba Adesheson Afalonrosho Ogutayo, FCA JP, to God be the glory. The major highlights of the one-week celebration, which incorporated a series of events, was the official commissioning of the new ultra-modern multi-million Naira new Ajalonru Palace in Ijebu Ife. The new all-white Ajalonru Palace, which sits on a sprawling expanse of land in the heart of Ijebu Ife, is a purpose-built monumental edifice which will serve as the official palace of the Ajalonru with not less than 10 sitting rooms, a conference hall, banquet hall for reception, and official accommodation. The ultra-modern new Ajalonro Palace is a wondrous architectural masterpiece, a replica of the century-old Buckingham Palace in the UK, which houses Queen Elizabeth II of England, who incidentally celebrated her 90th year birthday anniversary recently. In the spirit of the times, therefore, we at Biscan Communications join Olori Yeyelua Rufinot Olayinka Oguntayo Ni Okunowo, the children, the entire people of Ijebu Ife and Ogu State in general, to use the 90 year old Queen Elizabeth II of England as a point of contact to pray that the Ajalonu, who will be 80 years next year, will live to be 90 years and above in good, robust health and sound mind. I have already heard a resounding Amen to that prayer from all the corners of the globe and the angels in heaven have endorsed the prayer. The Ajalon of Ijebu Ife in Ogu State, His Royal Majesty Oba Desheson Ogutayo FCA has a very high taste and eyes for the very best which he complements with good looks and frame which belies his age. He is in fact regarded among his fellow monarchs as the modern millennium monarch who has succeeded in perfectly blending the cultures and traditions of his people with modernity without relegating the age-long values to the background. The Ajalon, who doesn't look 79 years old by any stretch of imagination, is very humble, likable, and cosmopolitan in his way of life. This was evident in the diverse nature of those who attended all the events slated for his 20th coronation anniversary, which ended with the grand finale that took place at the Ajalonru's Palace ground on Saturday 25th of June 2016. The chairman of the occasion was a leading lawyer and industrialist, Ogun State-born Chief Chris Ogumbanjo, Governor Ibikunli Amosun of Ogun State, who performed the official commissioning of the new ultra-modern Ajalonru's Palace earlier in the week, was unavoidably absent. However, he was represented by his deputy, Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, the Secretary to Ogun State Government, Barista Taiwu Adeolua, and other commissioners and government functionaries. Other dignitaries in attendance at the event were Otumba Benga Daniel, Sa Kesintin Adebutu, CON, Senator B. Durojaye, Ashiwaju S.K. Onofawakon, Senator Olorunibe Mamora, and Senator Lekon Mustafa led other sons and daughters of Ijebu Ife to pay homage to the Ajalon on the 20th anniversary of his coronation. The traditional institution, especially from the southwest of Nigeria and Ogun State in particular, turned out in impressive numbers 
to honor one of their own. The roll call include the Alake and paramount ruler of Egba land, His Royal Majesty, Oba Michael Aremugbadebo, the Olu of Ilaro, Oba Keide Olugbenle, the Dagburewe of Idoa, and a host of others who displayed the richness of the cultural heritage of the Yorubas in the royal garbs they adorned. The different social clubs the Ajalonu belonged to, adorning their various colors, came out in their legion to rejoice with the celebrant. Members of the Yoruba Tennis Club, of which Mr. Daley Martins, who is married to one of the daughters of the Ajalonu, is the current chairman, came out in full force to support one of their own. Professor Tokumbo Adeshegun Fabanwo, the vice chairman of the club, was at the head of the delegation. Members could be distinguished in their trademark cap of the club on white traditional attire. By the way, plans have reached an advanced stage for the celebration of the 90th anniversary of Yoruba Tennis Club, which comes up in September this year. His Royal Majesty, the Ajalonu of Ijebuife, Oba Desheson of Guntayo, is a first-class monarch, member of the Ogun State Council of Obas and Ijebu Traditional Council of Obas. Oba Ogutayo attended Ijebu Day Grammar School and passed out in Grade 1. His working career began at the Federal Audit Unit in Lagos. Oba Ogutayo completed his professional training in accountancy at the Leeds College of Commerce in the UK in 1962. As a qualified accountant, he worked with the Federal Ministry of Finance, Lagos. The British Petroleum, later known as Africa Petroleum, where he rose to become the Chief Internal Auditor. His Royal Majesty, Oba Ogutayo, established his own firm of chartered accountants in 1969. In 1983, Oba Ogutayo delved full-scale into business. In partnership with Ogun State Government and Oba Ogutayo, the Gateway Paper Mill Limited was established. A fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, a fellow of the Association of Certified Accountants of England, Oba Ogutayo was elected as a councillor in Ijebu East local government area between 1976 and 1978. Oba Ogutayo is a key player in the downstream sector of Nigeria's oil and gas industry. He is the owner of Fowobi Petroleum Company with numerous petrol filling stations in Ijebu Ife and beyond. Oba Gutayo is the national president of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. In his welcome remarks, His Royal Majesty Oba Adesheso Afolonisho Ogutayo FCA, the Ajalonu of Ijebu Ife, acquainted the audience with an update on the journey to the construction of the ultra-modern palace defeating the status of the monarch and people of Ijebu Ife. He solicited for more support as construction work is still ongoing. He advised all to donate generously to the project because the new palace is a lasting legacy for the entire Ijebu Ife community. The Ajalonu also delved into the history of Ijebu Ife and its links with Ileife, the source. Ijebu Ife, which was founded in 1450 AD, is believed to be one of the oldest towns in Ijebu land. Today is celebrating my 28 years on this road as 42nd Ajalonu of Ijebu Ife. At the same time, commissioning of the new Legacy Palace, we we'll just name it Legacy Palace that the community is blessed with through the grace of the Almighty, Almighty God and our well-wishers. The 20 years on the throne has been memorably eventful, I can confidently say, and with various surmounting odds for which we are joyfully thanking the Almighty God today. While thanking His Excellency through the Deputy Governor, the State Government, for the support, respect, cooperation with my reign, for my reign, I am pleading and requesting 
the state government should extend further financial and developmental support to some traditional institutions and rulers who deserve the good gesture of the state administration. The Ajalon of Ijebuife, His Royal Majesty Oba Adesheson Ogutayo, is the 42nd Ajalonru of Ijebuife. He has brought everlasting legacy, unprecedented development, unity, stability, and monumental achievements to the Ijebuife community in the last 20 years. Ijebuife sons and daughters have made their marks nationally and globally in their various fields of endeavor. In the address of Governor Ibikulia Mosun, which was delivered by the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Chief Mrs. Yesunde Ononuga, she again extended the good wishes of the state to the Ajalon on the 20th anniversary of his coronation and pledged that Ogun State will support the Ajalon as he continues to improve the living standards of the people of Ijebuife community with the provision of necessary amenities. His Excellency was here on Wednesday, as we all know, and he has delivered his speech. He even had time, played with the KBNC. He had a long time with him. Today, I'm just standing here as your daughter to deliver a goodwill message to all the people of Ijebufe. Let me congratulate the KBNC on this auspicious occasion of the 20th coronation anniversary and the commissioning of the Ajaloru Palace, the new Ajaloru Palace. Kabesi had been a royal father indeed. He had contributed a lot in the last 20 years to the development of this community, which we stand and we are here today to witness. We thank God for what he, God has made him to do in this community. I pray that the Almighty God will continue to bless you, Kabesi. He will spare your life to see many, many, many more years on earth. One important aspect of the event was when people were called to donate generously for the completion of the ultra-modern new Ajalonu of Ijewife Palace for the purchase of equipment, facilities, and furnishing the palace. More dignitaries turned up at the reception, which was mainly for dancing and general relaxation. Before the program formally wound up, members of the Yoruba Tennis Club, which included the Alaki of Egbalant and the celebrant, who are vice patrons of the club, were treated to the special solidarity session, extended to members at such celebrations, which ended with the anthem, of the club. Chairman of Yoruba Tennis Club, live forever. Oh, great. Great. 
也不一定能吉祥一样。The celebration of the 20th coronation anniversary of the Ajalonu of Ijebuife, His Royal Majesty Oba Adesheson Oguntayo ended with a special Thanksgiving service on Sunday 26th of June 2016. The service which took place at the Christ Anglican Church Iwade Ijebuife was attended by close family members, friends and relations of the Ajalonu who was joined by his wife children and grandchildren. Highlights of the church service included special songs, readings from the scripture and the sermon in which the officiating minister rejoiced with the celebrant and his family and prayed for them. The church service ended with the Thanksgiving session that featured a lot of rejoicing, singing and dancing. Biscan Communications heartily congratulates the Ajalon of Ijebuife, His Royal Majesty Oba Adesheson Oguntayo, and the success of the celebration of his 20th coronation anniversary. We hope to be in Ijebuife next year when the Ajalonu clocks 80 years. Amen. You see, anybody that aspires personally or ambitiously to be a king will never be a king in Yoruba land. When they say Obalola, and Obalola never becomes a king, you destiny, God makes kings. And I think it's the mercy, the grace of God that dawned on me that the call to serve my people as a number, I have to obey it. So it's God's calling to service.